Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play series, Pokemon Fire Red. This is part 7 and in today's series we're going to be taking on the Diglett's Cave. So let's head right on in. So we're on the quest now to find Flash. So in order to get Flash, guys, you gotta head to Route 22, I think it is. Which is just past Vermilion City, uh, just to the east. And you'll find Diglett's Cave. Going through Diglett's Cave is pretty cool because we need to catch 10 Pokemon in order to get Flash. We need to have to, we have to catch 10 Pokemon and I'm at nine. So that means we got to catch a Diglett or maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a Doug Trio, which would be cool too. So Diglett dug a hole and I think we're just going to run from this fight and we'll continue on. Another Diglett, level 16, okay. Let's try to go for a Pokeball right off the hop here. And maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we won't. Nope, okay. Diglett's gonna use Magnitude. So the varies, the levels really vary in this cave, guys. You might find like a level 14, level 16, or you might even find a level 30 Doug Trio, which is Diglett's evolution. So the levels vary a lot, which is kind of cool. Because if we can catch a level 30 Doug Trio, that'd be really cool. So if we do get to the end of the cave before finding like, I want to try to find one that's like decent level. Level 16 won't really cut it. I, I mean, I guess we could try to throw a Pokeball at this guy and see what happens, but I don't think we'll get lucky. No, we're not getting lucky. Okay, because he can't really take survive any of my attacks and I don't really feel like switching Pokemon. So we'll just keep running. Oh, I can't run because they're arena trap. All right. We'll just slam him down and move on. All right. Oh, what? Wow, we're getting so many random battles right now, guys. This is crazy. Another Doug Trio. I mean, another Diglett. Let's go for a slam. The goal is to find a Diglett that's decent leveled enough so that he can survive a slam. I'll get him weak, and then I... We'll throw a Pokeball, and we'll catch him. Alright, for this one, I think we're going to have to switch to Ward Turtle. And let's see if we can use, like, a weaker attack on this guy. Let's see if he can survive a bite. Wow, he can't even survive a bite. This Pokemon's really weak. At least his evolution is good. Wow, Bite's not even that strong either. Maybe we'll get lucky, hoping to get lucky. <coughs> Sweet, so we did catch the Diglett, which is great. That'll be our 10th Pokemon, and maybe on the way back we'll find a Doug Trio. We also don't have that many Pokeballs, so the chances of us getting Doug Trio are kind of rare. Let's see what this guy has today. I went inside the rock tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. So that's our hint that Flash is right in this building right here. As far as I know. A fainted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It can still use moves like cut outside of battle. Okay, so I guess it wasn't this house and the guy back there wants to trade. So we'll cut the tree down and hopefully Flash is somewhere down here, if I remember correctly. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with HMO5 for you. So Nick, let me ask you, 
Have you gathered at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Great, you have caught our own 10 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. Yay, we got Flash. Hidden move Flash. Flash lights up even the darkest of caves and dungeons. All right, with that being said, we're going to make our way back to... Slowly back to the rock tunnel. If I remember correctly, I think there's an item back here. I could be wrong. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Maybe there's a hidden item. I remember there being an item somewhere around here. But I'm just forgetting. Now we'll head back down through Diglett's Cave, back to Vermilion City, and we'll head up to Cerulean City, and we're going to take on the Rock Tunnel. Well, part of it in this episode. Good thing that Diglett did not have Arena Trap, so we could leave. Wow, we're not finding any battles. This is crazy. And just at the end, we got we were running there for so long. Oh, Doug Trio. Just on our way out, guys, we find a Doug Trio. We only have like seven or eight Pokeballs, so hopefully that'll be enough to catch him. I'll try my best to get him weak. Unfortunately, Thunder Wave doesn't work on him because he's ground type. And he one-shots me. Oh, he got static, though. Sweet. War Turtle. So I think Water Pulse is going to be too strong to use against him. So we'll try Bite. Perfect, he flinched, so we'll hit him again. We're going to hit him one more time. As soon as he comes up from underground. But since he's underground, we're going to use Withdraw. So we can take his uh, dig move. Oh, he got paralyzed, couldn't move. Sweet. Hopefully this is not a crit. Perfect. I've got him as weak as possible. So hopefully these seven Pokeballs can catch him, guys. Let's see if we can get Doug Trio. I'm going to put on fast forward. Almost. Come on. This isn't looking good, guys. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got Doug Trio. Sweet. This is great, guys. Doug Trio is actually pretty strong. We'll probably keep him on the team. Yeah, he's, he's decent, so I'll definitely keep him. All right, Route 11. I said it was 22 before, Route 22. This is actually Route 11 you got to go to. Make our way back up Route 6. I think we'll pull out our bike to go through the tunnel here. Just so it's faster. All right, now we're gonna make our way back up Route 5 and we're gonna hit the rock tunnel, guys. So with that being said, the rock tunnel is very dark. So we're gonna need flash or I'm gonna have to struggle going through it. And I really don't wanna do that. Because the Rock Tunnel, like, I've played this game probably 10 times. And 10 times or more, probably closer to 20. But of all those times, like, I kind of remember how to go through the Rock Tunnel. But there's also items and stuff that we need to collect. So I'd probably be missing those. So we're going to do some switching around in our team here. First, we'll heal up. All right, thank you, Nurse Joy. And we're going to 
deposit two Pokemon. And we're also going to be withdrawing two. We need Voltorb for Flash. And we need our trusty little guy that we just caught. And I'll probably deposit the other Pokemon that I'm not using, such as Caterpie. And then Oddish we need for Cut. So you can either cut the trees here or go for the battle, but you already know what we're going to do. A little cool tip too, guys, is just below us actually is the power plant. So when we, later in the game, when we get Surf and beat the Elite Four, we're going to be going to the power plant actually and catching a legendary Pokemon called Zapdos, which is really cool. Strongest electric type in the game, as far as I know. This girl I remember being quite easy, so I challenged her. I've taken a little bit of damage, but I'm probably not going to... I'm not going to go back and heal. There's no point. Alright, Clefairy's down. Now, let's make our way into the rock tunnel, guys. cave looks scary from the outside see how small this is like you can't see anything in here but when we go to here and we teach Voltorb flash which I forgot to do let's see TM case the teach Voltorb flash now, Flash in battle just reduces the opponent's accuracy. So I honestly wouldn't recommend using it in battle, but it's an okay move. But I don't really use accuracy lowering moves that often, so it's kind of useful, useless to me. All right, let's light this cave up. Wow. What a difference, eh, guys? What a difference. Now I think we're going to use a Repel. Because I don't really want to be running into uh, wild Pokemon all the time. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got another Repel. Free one. Taking on Cubone. Let's see what Cubone has to say. Hit him with a slam. Didn't do that much. I don't think electric moves affect him, so we'll probably just go for three slams. Whoa, that did a lot. Oh, and he missed, of course. So if he hits me, get him dead. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yikes, wow. Okay, so we gotta leave the cave, uh, guys, and quickly heal up after, because I don't have any revives. But that's okay. Hit him with a water pulse. Of course, it's not very effective, but I really have nothing else to use against this little poke, which kind of sucks. All right, so let's just quickly leave and heal up. I wouldn't say that's a tough battle. He just more had, like, stuff that, you know... He just got lucky with that critical hit, so... Which is kind of annoying, but... It's all good. We'll continue our way into the rock tunnel. Once Nurse Joy heals us up... All right.
right, back into the rock tunnel we go. Lost my repel, but that's okay. I got an, I got the free one from before, so I'm gonna use flash again. Now we're gonna use, probably should use a repel. Trainer, I draw il illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. That is so random. I think this guy actually sends out a Smeargle. If I remember correctly. Oh no, it's a Slowpoke. Good thing for us, we're going to one-shot this, this Slowpoke with Thunderbolt, though. That four times weakness to water, though. Goodbye, Slowpoke. That was an easy battle. And we leveled up. Sweet. 29. Whew, I'm exhausted. Should be an escape rope down here, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's a revive. Gotta use another repel. Let's see what this girl has to say. I don't often come here, but I will battle it. But I will battle you. All right, so I think we'll go for a Thunderbolt. It's not very effective, but still did decent damage. Oh, sleep powder, of course. This is why I really don't like facing Oddishes. I think I'll probably just switch Pokemon, I guess. Hopefully she doesn't put War Turtle to sleep. And we're going to go for a Mega Kick. Now she's going to send out a Bulbasaur, okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? What is he even dressed in? I don't even know what Pokemon he's dressed in. I can't tell at all what that is. Let's see if we have an Awakening. He's going to go for a smoke screen. We're just going to put our accuracy down. But that won't be a problem for us because we just hit him with a Thunderbolt. Cubone now, which will be no problem. We'll just slam that Cubone. Down goes Cubone. This is a dead end. Oh, it's a hiker guy. I think we're going to switch to War Turtle after this battle just to... Uh... Well, I don't know if we should. It depends what he sends out, honestly, because usually these hiker guys, all they send out is Geodudes. Geodudes and Onyxes and Zubats. That's the only three Pokemon that they use. Yeah, here comes Onyx, so we have nothing to use. Against Onyx is Pikachu, so I gotta use War Turtle.
Water Pulse should take him down in one shot. Fired away. Yes, you were, buddy. Let's make that switch. Move that War Turtle in the first position. We'll take on this hiker, of course, because we want that XP. He says his Pokemon techniques will have me crying. <laughs> we'll see about that. Let's see how his Pokemon techniques survive against a Water Pulse. Yep, that's what I thought. Down goes Geodude. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Yeah, it sure does. This is like the biggest Pokemon, one of the biggest Pokemon tunnels I've ever been through. Besides Victory Road. This round's all gonna this round is gonna be all water pulse too. But for good reason, he's got a four times weakness to it, so makes the most sense. Is he really gonna I wonder if he's gonna send out like three Geodudes and an Onyx. Let's see. This is easy XP though. Easy XP. And a Machop. Alright, that's not bad. I guess Machop will use a Mega Kick, so I'm not using too many Water Pulses. Because there's a lot more Rock Pokemon coming in this cave that I'll need that Water move for. Let's see what it has to say after the battle. Watch for Onyx. They appear only occasionally. High level ones can put the squeeze on you. Yeah, that is true. If you're new to Pokemon, Onyx in this cave is, you know, fairly decent, actually. But Onyx doesn't intimidate our water Pokemon. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. Water Pulse that Onyx. <laughs> Now, guys, Onyx looks pretty intimidating, but it's honestly a really weak Pokemon. As long as you have water moves, you'll be fine against it. Now, Onyx's evolution is Steelix, which I don't even remember if you can get in this game. But Steelix is pretty pretty strong but even then you have to trade it with a steel coat so steelix is really hard to get i, I, I don't think you can get it in pokemon fire red but maybe you can maybe i'm wrong let's see what this guy has to say after the battle that sleeping pokemon on route 12 forced me to take this detour yeah, that sleeping Snorlax on Route 12 is really messing up everyone, man. There's the escape rope if we get lost. <laughs> but we won't. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Yeah, because all you do is sit in a cave, hiker. Hiker Lucas. Sending out a classic Geodude. We've got something in store for you, Geodude. Nice water pulse. Down he goes. For a measly 380 XP. And Graveler. Which is Geodude's evolution, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken.
Let's see if there's anything up here. I don't think there is. I think it's just a little, yeah, it's just a little place to get you lost if you didn't have uh, repel. I mean, not repel, flash. So we're currently at 25 minutes, but I think I'm going to beat the rest of this cave, guys, and then uh, we'll probably end the video. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You could bet in Twigs' as trail markers. Not a bad idea. gonna send out a Pidgey. We should have actually switched out for Pikachu, but, but that's okay. Meowth, yeah, yeah we're, we'll stay in. I don't really like switching Pokemon. I'm kind of impatient, so if I can avoid switching out Pokemon, then, you know, that'd be all the better. Not just for me, but, you know, for everyone watching their, their sake, too. Because I try to go through this as fast as possible. Okay, so we got we got a hiker right there. So we just found a max ether, which is cool. Got a little hiker right here. Ha ha ha. Can you beat my power? Let me guess, what's your power? Quote unquote power. Is it a Geodude and an Onyx? Oh look, another Geodude. So I'm pretty sure Charmander, uh, Charmander, Charmeleon goes to Charizard at level 36. Bulbasaur uh, goes to Venusaur. No, goes to Ivysaur and then Venusaur for level 36. But I'm pretty sure War Turtle goes to Blastoise, which is the Pokemon I have now. I think it goes to Blastoise at level 40, but it could be wrong. For some reason, I'm thinking that it's 40, but it could be 36. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to get to level 40 to evolve. Sweet, we hit 36, so I guess we'll see. Guess we'll find out if we're gonna evolve or not. Oh, sweet, War Turtle's evolving, awesome. Awesome. We just got a Blastoise, one of the one of the strongest water types of all Pokemon games that I have ever played. Blastoise is very strong. Of all my Pokemon runs and Pokemon Fire Red, I remember I used to always pick always used to pick Charizard. It's either Charizard or Venusaur. I've never really picked Squirtle. I've picked Squirtle maybe twice. In all my time playing these Pokemon games. And I have like a lot of... over ten, Well over 10 years of experience playing Pokemon. But like... I just never really picked or wanted Blastoise. I don't know why. But I have nothing against Blastoise. But you know, he's really good. I just always went for Venusaur or Charizard. I don't know why. But let me tell you guys, if you're just starting this game for the first time, or for the hundredth time, you know, you know that Blastoise would never let you down. I think Blastoise, too, if you pick it, like, the game's easier, because most of the, most of the playthrough is against, uh, like, water-weak type Pokemon, such as, like, this cave, you know, the last gym leader, he's, he just uses, like, rock ground um you know he'll help you out in the elite four even against like some pokemon that your rival uses too 
So, since I'll bell spray, okay, we'll probably use bite. Clefairy, okay. We're gonna go for the mega kick. Let's see what she has to say. I saw a Machop in this tunnel. Good for you. You have Pokemon? Let's start. Okay, she's got quite a few Pokemon here. She's sending out four. It's so annoying when they have multiple Pokemon because you get less XP. But maybe it balances out in the end, but... You know, let's see how much this one Pidgey is going to give me. Like, 250, I'm guessing? 223. Bellsprout. Honestly, we could probably one-shot Bellsprout with a Water Pulse, but we'll probably just go for the Bite. Should be a one-shot. Yeah, there we go. Bellsprout's super weak. Rattata, yeah, we'll stay in. Yeah, <laughs> quick attack did like three damage to me. Get one shotted by bite. Another Rattata. Rattata is such a garbage Pokemon. Never, never catch it. Even its evolution, Raticate, which is so terrible. Like normal type is not really super effective against anything really. It's like pretty much it's neutral with everything. You know, take that how you want, I guess. I don't I don't recommend using normal normal type Pokemon. I don't think there's any strong ones in this game at all. Normal type Pokemon. They're very like I wouldn't say underrated because they're not even good. They're just trash. The only good normal type Pokemon I can think of is like Snorlax or Slacking. And even then they those are both two very slow Pokemon and I they're not even good long term, so I would stay away from them. Even this Pokemon that she's sending out right now, Meowth, like I would not recommend catching. Unless you want to use the Meowth with the Amulet coin to get, you know, lots of money with Payday. But Oddish, yeah, we don't have any fire type Pokemon for this gra all these grass ones that she's sending out. Wow, Oddish actually survived that bite. That's crazy. Nice. Level 37. That's great. Sending out Pidgey. I think we'll swap for Pikachu. Thunderbolt. All right. Let's see what she has to say. You looked cute and harmless. Was I ever wrong? Ha! Ah, wow. Thanks. Okay, I thought there was an item over there for some reason. That's weird. Let's see what the trainer tips say here. Oh, just a sign, Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City to Lavender Town. Awesome. So I think that'll wrap it up, guys, for the day. And I want just want to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in my next episode for Part 8. This has been Part 7, and we're about to go to Lavender Town. Thank you all for watching. Welcome back, everyone, to my 